Week 20 of Zur. Not a good one. Not his best work this week. At least this video is going to be short. We have shotgun, machine gun, and rocket launcher telemetries. You know, for all those primary weapons everyone's been getting from Crota's End hard mode. Right? We have plasma drive and emerald coils for those blue, rare quality sparrows. Titans? You get the Mark 44. No! Sorry. The Mark 44 stand far away from these. The Mark 44 don't stand aside these boots at all. Hunters, you get the Radiant Dance Machines. Very high stat roll of 147, but it's strength, so not great for PvE. More heavy ammo is good, and the main bonus is you move more quickly while aiming your weapon. Now, if this were something like Black Ops 2, I'd be down with that. I liked Stalker, if that was the upgrade that I'm thinking of. This is going to be a pass for most people. I imagine collectors will want them, but solely for that reason, just to collect. Terrible first exotic. Do not bother if you're looking for your first exotic. For those of you who might have them and have tried them out in Crucible, let us know if you like them. But absolutely no urgency to buy these unless you have a ton of extra coins and you want to collect all the exotics. Don't eat them. Warlocks, after a great... Showing last week, you get Starfire Protocol. And yet again, I'll tell you that the bonuses to Fusion Rifle and Heavy Weapon Ammo are good, but an extra Fusion Grenade is not super amazing, especially since Sunsingers have the option to get a second grenade of any type already via their subclass. It has a lower stat roll than the last two times it was on sale as well. It's a decent first exotic if you're looking for something to get you to light level 32, but if you skipped it, it's not the end of the world. You can probably skip it. It's going to be a slight judgment call, but it's definitely more on the pass side than I'd say on the buy. But yeah, a lot of the Warlock exotics are kind of on the weaker side, so judgment call. The weapon of the week for 17 Strange Coins is the No Land Beyond. No, don't. Why? Why would you do that? Don't buy this. There is no serious reason to ever own this weapon. Now, if you want to screw around in PvP, go for it. But there's no serious reason to own this weapon. Absolutely none. Exotic Engram is Helm, which is probably the best of the exotic engrams that you should be gambling on. Warlocks can be digging for that obsidian mind, hunters can dig for basically any helm, and titans can dig for that helm of Saint-14. But remember that the exotic that you get from these engrams is for a random class. It's not guaranteed to be for your class. Armor upgrades, we have Knucklehead Radar and the Symbiote for Hunters. The Symbiote upgrade gives less discipline than both last week's sale and upgrade opportunities, but will still take PvE priority over the Radar. The Radar probably doesn't get too much PvE usage, but if you wanted to upgrade for Iron Banner purposes, knock yourself out if you have the extra money. Titans get Helm of Inmost Light and Crest of Alpha Lupi. Both pretty middle-of-the-pack exotic-wise. I don't think there's any urgency to upgrade either of them, especially with all the love Helm of Saint-14 has been getting in the raid. Whoops. Spoilers. Spoil it for the Warlocks. Light Beyond Nemesis and Sunbreakers. Oddly enough, I'm considering saying Light Beyond for you raiders out there because it does have some utility during the Crota fight in Crota's End on hard mode, although not as much as something like Apotheosis Veil. Eh, you could you could probably pass on both, unless you really like Sunbreakers. Sunbreakers gets slight priority over uh, the Light Beyond, I guess, overall. Weapon upgrades, we have Bad Juju, Invective, Universe Remote, Thunderlord, Yallerhorn, Truth... And Hawkmoon for you PlayStation users. Obviously, Hawkmoon, Yallerhorn, pretty much at the top of the pack with Thunderlord, Bad Juju, and Truth. I guess kind of Truth kind of sticks there in the middle. And Universal Remote and Invective, both at the bottom of the upgrade priority list. Overall, 
This week was garbage, absolute garbage, and if you spent absolutely no coins at all, you would not surprise me in the slightest. Have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you next time.